Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Electrical Point and today I will discuss a very important topic and it is how we actually calculate the proper current rating of a MCB, MCCB or RCCB this kind of protective devices. Okay, so before going to start this video, uh, let me tell you if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to Electrical Point and share with your friends. So guys, uh, in this uh, topic, uh, we will discuss about both single phase and the three phase because the method of calculating the proper current rating is different in both the single phase and the three phase uh, conditions so guys first see the single phase uh, uh, single phase type of collections so guys in single phase uh, basically what we have we have only two wires one is the phase wire and other is our neutral wire like this okay and this is a suppose mcb uh, suppose if we are uh, connecting this MCB for a fan, okay? So then we have to calculate first the power of that fan. Suppose if I am getting the uh, fan is of 70 watt. So this reading you can find out from the packet of the fan or uh, you can simply find out the average power ratings of any devices from the internet, okay? So guys, basically in case of a fan, uh, we use single phase and uh, power is almost around equal to 70 watt now see guys suppose this is the fan and we are connecting the phase and the neutral to the fan uh, and in between the supply and the fan we, we are putting this MCB okay so see MCB is providing the power to a fan and which is at 70 watt okay so first of all, our first purpose is to uh, find out this power of the fan or any kind of device in which we are using this MCB. So after that, in case of single phase, we have to use a formula and which is Vi cos phi equal to our power. Okay, and cos phi is called actually the power factor, or we can write this formula like this way also. Okay. Now guys. In this formula, P, is the, P stands for the voltage, I stands for the current and power factor, we will see what is power factor. So let's see, this voltage will change in different countries, okay? So that you have to find out from your uh, internet or in your electricity board's uh, websites, okay, in your countries, okay? Anyways, in India, as I am, I am from India, so I will, calcul I will do the calculations according to our country, India. So guys, in India, we use the single phase voltage as 230 volt, okay? The, so 230 volt is maintained in our country. So current which we have to find out and our power factor in India, it is always taken as 0.85, okay? So this will also change uh, in different countries. So you have to find the voltage and the power factor from the websites of your electricity board that is uh, that are in your countries anyways so see the power the power is nothing but this 70 watt because we are calculating the mcb rating for this fan so we have to put here is 70 so from this formula we can calculate the current okay see 70 by 230 into 0.85 so when we calculate this uh, this uh, this calculation okay i am getting it is 0.35 ampere or i can write it like 350 milliampere so this is a very small value okay and for this uh, this minor amount of current we actually don't need to put a mcb so i am just showing you the process how to find this current rating now instead of the fan let me take an ac okay suppose uh, i am using an ac right now and uh, now I will calculate the MCB rating for this AC and suppose this AC has the power rating of Delton okay so you, in, a, in one ton you always remember in one ton always 1500 watt is equal to the one ton so this in 1.5 ton if I calculate the watt rating it will be 1500 into 1 1.5 and it will come up to be 2 to 5 zero watt okay so in this case our power will be how much 2 to 5 zero watt so everything will remain same you just have to only 
change this power okay so uh, in the previous case it was 70 and this time i will take as 2 to 5 0 what and this will also change 2 to 5 0 now our calculation is 2 to 5 0 divided by 230 divided by 0.85 now let me calculate this if i do this calculation it it will comes out to be uh, let me check this it will comes out to be 11 point 11 point how much uh, 5 ampere okay so though this comes out to be 11.5 ampere for ac uh, in some cases when suppose in a ac it works on the gas okay if the amount of gas becomes lower in the ac the ac always draws large amount of current so for that purpose we have to uh, take the mcb rating above than the 11.5 ampere okay and guys you will not get the mcbs for the for each amount of current below suppose i want to say uh, that if you calculate the current and you get suppose 9 ampere then you cannot get the uh, mcb for the rating of 9 ampere value okay because in our market some standard values of mcbs are available okay so according to that you have to choose the rating of the mcb and if you are getting suppose 9 ampere current of uh, current rating then you have to go for the one step higher rating of mcb that is available in the market and if I so if I tell you the standard values of MCBs in the market available, they are basically in 6 ampere, 10 ampere, 16 ampere, 20 ampere, 32 ampere, and like this. Okay, after that also 63 ampere. Okay, like this way, uh, we can get the MCBs in the market. So you have to study about the market. Okay, you have to get some information from your market also to get the uh, proper rating of the MCB. So in this case, how much, uh, how what rating of MCB we will choose in a AC? Uh, as I am getting the current of 11.5, then you see uh, which MCB is available, okay, uh, greater than the value of 11.5. So from this, we have to choose the MCB of this 16 ampere, okay. So 16 ampere MCB will be used in a Delton AC okay so guys this is the simple and the uh, easiest way of calculating the current rating of a MCB in a single phase system now I will show you how to uh, calculate the proper rating of a MCB in case of a three phase system now guys see suppose we are uh, providing the power to a house of 10 kilowatt load okay so the house has the total load of 10 kilowatt of power and we are providing the power by three phase system so guys in three phase system we know there are three phases and there will be one neutral okay so you can see here uh, there are three phases r y b and other is a neutral so in this case uh, how many wires we have to cut we have to cut out the four wires okay so in this case we cannot use single pole mcbs okay here we have to uh, we have to use three uh, three pole actually not only three pole three pole plus one neutral type of mcbs to cut this three phase system so this kind of mcbs are also called tpn okay so tpn is nothing but triple pole and neutral uh, type of mcbs so how what is the way of calculating the power uh, sorry the current rating of this kind of three phase mcbs now see guys so in this case our formula will be root 3 into voltage and this voltage is the line voltage okay current into our power factor and which is equal to the power okay so this is the formula we have to use in the three phase systems always so from this our current will how much current will be our power divided by root 3 into line voltage into our power factor so guys see this line voltage will change from different to different countries okay in india this is taken as 4 actually it is 430 volt but you will not get always the 430 volt 
okay there will be definitely some loss or or the drop for the drop so we actually take it as for 15 volt as a standard value okay so if you calculate from this formula in this case the power is how much you can see power is our 10 kilowatt of power okay so this will be our 10 into 1000 as this is in kilowatt so i have to multiply 1000 with the 10 and below it will be root 3 into 9 voltage is 415 and power factor is our 0.85 power factor is same as the single phase and in the three phase system so guys let me calculate this how much it will come you see 10,000 divided by root 3 divided by 415 divided by 0.85 so this is coming out to be uh, 16.37 okay so it comes out to be 16.37 ampere so what is the current rating of the mcb in this case so guys see it is 16 point something so we cannot use 16 ampere of mcb as i have already told you we have to take the mcb rating in such a way that this rating of the mcb should be higher than, than this current okay so how uh, what will be the rating of the mcb in this case so in this case we have to go for the 20 ampere of tpm type of mcb and let me remind you one thing if you are using this formula don't confuse with this voltage because in three phase there are two voltages one is the phase voltage and one is the line voltage so if you are using this formula you have to always take the line voltage in the formula okay do not take this as your phase voltage if you take this phase voltage the, your answer will be wrong and your calculation for the mcb will also be wrong so always keep this point in your mind so guys let me summarize the video so when you are going to calculate the mcb for a single phase system always find the value of current rating by using this formula power divided by voltage into power factor and in case of three phase you always uh, use this formula power divided by root 3 by a line voltage always remember this is not phase voltage this is always line voltage and uh, multiply with the power factor okay and after that choose the mcb of higher rating than this value of current okay so always uh, the value of the mcb will be one step higher than this current rating so guys thank you everyone for watching my video if you have understood anything new from my video then like my video and subscribe to electrical point and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get the notifications of my videos share with your friends so that they can also get the benefit of my videos and if you have any doubt you can freely ask me in the comment box so guys thanks for watching the video and see you in the next video so till then be safe and take care